Hello, scholars. Today is day three of Let's Talk About Race by Julius Lester. Yesterday, we talked a little bit about the different identities that make up the author who he is. So he, excuse me, talked a little bit about his religion. He was Jewish, his race, he's black. He talked about his nationality. He's American. He grew up in the United States. And I hope that you had a good time thinking about your identities that make you up as a person yesterday after our reading. So today we're going to talk about the part of the book where Julius Lester says that sometimes people say things are untrue about your identity. So one thing that I can relate to that a little bit is some people say something that's untrue about my one of my identities. So I have blonde hair. My ancestors are from Sweden. And um, so that's where I get my blonde hair. And a lot of people say that people with blonde hair aren't as smart with pe as people with darker hair. So that's an untrue story that people say about me and my identity as being a blonde haired person. So that's just one example. Um, People say untrue things about other people's identities all the time, and they're always untrue. Okay, so let's keep reading. Just as I'm a story and you are a story, and countries tell stories about themselves, race is a story too. Whether you're black like me or Asian, Hispanic or white, each race has a story about itself. And that story is almost always the same. My race is better than your race. Some stories are true, some are not. Those who say, my race is better than your race, are telling a story that is not true. Why would some people say their race is better than another? Because they feel bad about themselves. Because they are scared. Because... But there are other ways, all of us, even me, even you, think we are better than others. I'm better than you because I live in blank. I'm better than you because I go to blank school. I am better than you because I'm a boy. I'm better than you because I'm a girl. I'm better than you because my dad or mom makes more money than your dad or mom. I'm better than you because I'm white. I'm better than you because I'm black. I'm better than you because I'm Hispanic. I'm better than you because I'm Asian. None of these stories are true, are they? I want to tell a true story, but I need your help. Here's what I want you to do. Take your fingers and press them softly against your skin, right below your eyes. Be careful and don't poke yourself in the eye. Okay, now. Press gently until you feel the hard bones right beneath the surface. Now, if your mom, dad, brother, sister, or a friend is close by, ask them if you can touch them. If they say okay, take your fingers and press softly at the same place beneath their eyes. Press gently until you feel the hard bones right beneath their skin. Now press someplace else on your body, on your arm, on your chest, on your head. Press anywhere until you feel the hard bones beneath your skin. Beneath everyone's skin are the same hard bones. If you were to go outside without your skin on and without your hair on your head, turn the page and see what you would look like. So I'm going to leave you on a cliffhanger. We're going to stop there. So tomorrow we'll take a look at what everyone would look like without their skin and their hair. So the author is talking about a lot of things in the pages that we read today. He was talking about how sometimes people tell untrue stories about other people's identities and how they're feeling when they tell those untrue stories. So your task now is to go into our Google Classroom and answer the three questions that are on there. If you're having a, having a hard time coming up with some answers, just think really hard, take your time, and you can always go back into the video and re-watch today's pages to see what the author says and what the author's talking about, okay? So good luck on your questions and have a great day, friends.